and welcome back to the channel here we go with another video and this time I want to talk about tires and I'm needing to get new tires I recently for the first time when the bike uh, went down for a while and I was unable to ride it at the end there when they told me to stop riding at aerial rider while we get the controllers uh, replaced uh, at the same time I came home from work that day after not riding it for the first day and when I came home that evening I don't, the tire was flat so it obviously had a slow leak and I pumped it up a few days later to see if it was a, how fast it would go down you know if it was a slow leak or what and it w went down again within about 45 minutes so so now the flat is fixed but I'm still riding on the same original stock tires and what I want to do is or what I'm going to do I've already uh, purchased a new set of tires and I decided to go for the V tires the E Huntsman so I purchased them online and they're going to take a while to get here like two to th between two weeks and three weeks I think it is something like that they're going to take a little while but I'll tell you it's hard to find tires like if you find tires that you like it's uh, hard to find them in stock and so I I could have got the these tires cheaper other places but they were not in stock and so uh, like most places are charging about $80 each or $160 for the pair well I ended up paying close your ears if you don't want to hear this but $115 each uh, so $230 bucks for the pair off of Amazon but they had them in stock and uh, they're going to take a little bit to get uh, free shipping oh, I, missed, I was going to turn there I'm going to turn around and uh, so anyway and I'll tell you the reason why I chose the e-huntsman I have no particular formula or nothing because I have not bought new tires yet you know I've riding, been riding the, the Rad Rover all this time and this bike with just the regular stock tires well these tires are starting to wear for sure I'm closing in on 800 miles on this bike and uh, already they're wearing so I think if you get a thousand miles out of the stock tires on the uh, Grizzly you're doing good because uh, if you don't if you get that far if you don't well a lot of people already know that they've had to replace their tires you know and you're not going to get that far with it so anyway the reason why I chose the Huntsman I have like I say no formula I went by looks to tw I decided to go with just 20 by 4 uh, tires their original size that are on here and those tires look good they look to me like a good street tire and maybe you can do a little bit of off-road I don't know but mainly I want them for street and so uh, I um, went for those and uh, uh, the other thing I did was read some reviews, you know, and pretty positive reviews on them. So I thought, okay, that's good. And then I watched a few videos on YouTube. One in particular I watched and really liked was uh, the one by uh, Peter Parker. So uh, shout out to Peter Parker. That was a good video that he had on the E Huntsman tires that he put on his bike. I think it was a Super 73 that he put his on. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I just was watching it for the tires. And uh, so uh, so I just went for it uh, and I got them off Amazon and paid a little more, like I say, because they were happened to be in stock. So um, I wanted uh, for sure street tires. I didn't want uh, knobby off-road tires because they're going to wear on the pavement here pretty quick. but. So anyway, um, and and so that's basically how I did. I went by uh, reviews, 
I went by uh, the looks of the tire on pictures because I've never seen them in person and the videos I watched a few videos in Peter Parker in particular and uh, um, I think with the tires there's so many it can get overwhelming there's so many different tires out there right depending on what type of ride you you have you know you're doing and what uh, size tires you have and for me uh, like I say, I wanted to ride uh, street riding is basically what I do mostly. I do a little bit of trail riding, but most of the trails are pavement. And uh, so you got that. And then, I don't know, I just, I just like those tires for looks. But like I say, there's so many different tires out there. That really you don't know what to get like one person's gonna say hey get these these are the best and somebody else is gonna say no no these are the best so you know round and round we go so to me what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try these e huntsman and you know what if I don't like them next time I'll know don't buy the e huntsman uh, v tires buy something else so it's trial and error for me and uh, we'll see how it goes it's probably uh, or should be an upgrade over the tires that are on here and um, like these don't seem to have much uh, life in them like there's they're very, kind of thin you know there's not a lot to them but in saying that I've gotten almost a thousand miles out of them so but uh, I'm hoping to get and I probably won't but I'd like to get a whole year, you know, like one year riding of it. But I don't think, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that with uh, riding as much as I do, you know. So I think probably sometime halfway through the year I'll have to replace them. So, uh, but having multiple bikes is going to help in that too, where you know having two bikes you're not uh, riding everything you know all the one bike and wearing the tires down and stuff so um, that's the benefit to having multiple bikes so maybe between this one and the graffiti and a little bit of riding of the ride rover which I don't think I'm gonna do much um, I'm gonna bring it out sometimes but not that often as often as the graffiti or the grizzly so maybe between basically those two bikes you know I can kind of how the tires last me uh, maybe for a whole season that'd be like a whole year that'd be awesome so uh, let me know in the comments below what tires you like I mean to each his own like I say but uh, for future reference I'll check out other tires I've been checking out some but like I say a lot of them I looked at uh, were uh, not in stock Enovo, Enovo was another one. I think it's a no. Is it called Enovo or Enova? Uh, Inova or Enova, whatever that name is. They uh, they look to me like good tires. Were the ones that I saw that they had. But uh, I made my choice anyway. Uh, I bought the Huntsman. I just got to wait on them. So so when I do get the tires. I will definitely do a test ride on them and we'll find out together how I like them probably on a first ride you're not going to tell a whole lot so it's going to take a while and uh, I'll just mark down the uh, mileage uh, where I started with them and see what we get a couple thousand miles would be nice but I saw somebody's video on YouTube where he did say he got 2,000 miles, I think it was, before he traded them out. But uh, it's going to be usually your back tire, right, that's going to wear before the front. So you might get farther on the front tire because, uh, of course, you're sitting on the back, so there's some more weight all the time on the back. Have I said this before? This Grizzly is a nice bike. Look at this. And it's nice to be back on the Grizzly again. Alright, 
so that's going to do it for another video here on the channel thank you for riding along and chit chatting about tires and uh, like i say leave a comment below on uh what tires you use or what you're going to use in the future maybe changing it up or whatever and uh, thank you for joining me today please subscribe if you haven't already uh, it's much appreciated to all my subscribers and also hit that like button and hey don't forget to hit the notification uh, bell it'll let you know when future videos are coming along and hopefully we'll be doing lots in the future i'm sure we will so until next time take care